Kilos, no Ray, uh, Palpatine, uh, no sequel trilogy fans, no Adam Driver fans, uh, basically uh, no black pills at all. You're not allowed here either. I am done. I am no longer uh, associated with any of these people. Um, they're not Star Wars fans. They're fans of their own pocketbook. Okay, I'm done. Uh, some, you know, here's the deal. I had a long talk with a friend of mine today, or short one, I should say. And, uh, you know, their hate for whatever they think Lucasfilm is, is going to burn them up. And they've gotten baited back into a fight. And Griggs is making money off of it. And, you know, the rest of them, I don't care anymore. It's bullshit. If you're going to let yourself get baited into something, and look, I understand. No one likes being called dirty names. Being called a racist when you're not is bullshit. However, there's a time when you got to go, you're, you're doing this again, I'm done. Come up with an original script, okay? And you walk away. Don't let them get to you. And everybody has. And, you know, I've never been so disappointed with people in my life over this. Okay, Kenobi's a great show. Um, I've got no problem with uh, Moses Ingram. I don't. Could she be better? Yeah. Should they have said, we need to put a helmet on you? That would have helped, I think. Yeah, she would have been more intimidating. However, you know, it's that bad. And... <clears throat> If you can't understand why Kenobi did what he did for the last 10 years, and you're all disappointed and you're acting like a five-year-old stomping your feet over a toy you're not getting, your dad's not getting you from the shelf at the store, I don't know what to say because you're not a Star Wars fan and you don't understand it. All right. I guarantee you the people, uh, Chris Gore has never seen Clone Wars has never read the EU. He's there, you know, getting his name out there, growing his brand, fine. But that hurts the fandom. Okay, that hurts the fandom, all right? And it's not fair. If you do not know the lore, you do not know, like today I asked, I asked somebody who was whining, do you even know who Quinlan Voss is? Go over and sit in the corner. No, I didn't because I wasn't watching that because more it's more negativity. And I'm sorry. Um, look, there are three people in the Vader suit. The full the full Vader is not Hayden. He is not six seven. He's not almost seven feet tall. Okay. There's another guy. Then there's another guy who's doing the stunts. Hey, Cross Element, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. It used to be, you know, David Prowse was in the suit doing the stunts and fighting. And, you know, James Earl Jones did the voice. You know, so if, if they, if, look, if Lucasfilm did something shitty or something, I, you know, this is looking for a story. This is looking for something to go live about. Now I have something to go live about. Vice TV with the Nacelle Company run, and the Nacelle Company, uh, Brian Folk, Folk Vice, uh, is responsible for the movies that made us, documentary series, and the toys that made us. Good shit. Okay, they're doing the icons unearthed thing. And the first, they're, they're doing Star Wars first. Greatest movie franchise of all time. Okay, fuck Marvel. Fuck Star Trek. They're interviewing Anthony Daniels, Michael Pennington, who played Moff Jar Gerard, Julian Glover, who played General Veers, and uh, uh, the bad guy in Indiana Jones in, in The Last Crusade. Um, they're, they're interviewing all kinds of people. They're interviewing Marsha Lucas for the first time. 
She was there for the, for the birth of it, okay? And this is going to be very interesting because, again, Cameron alerted me to this because I've been busy. Um, and the reason why it's going to be very interesting is simply this. We're finally going to get to hear what she has to say. And if you remember right, when uh, uh, Rinsler's book, J.W. Rinsler's book about uh, Kazangian came out, she was one of the people interviewed, and she let loose. Not just about TLJ. You guys have a thing about TLJ. It's like the entire fucking sequel trilogy is trash. All of it. Don't get, look. Marsha Lucas did said exactly what I said. How could they do that to Han Solo? Okay. She said it. All right. In that interview in the Kazanjian book, the uh, J.W. Rensler's book about him, I want to make this very clear that she dragged not only Kathy through the mud, she dragged J.J. Abrams through the mud. And I don't think, I, I gotta go back, I've got the book. Uh, Dave Pensack sent it to me. I don't think, oh, I my I was, I, you guys know the story, but I'll, I'll repeat it uh, if I remember in a little bit. Um, I don't think she mentioned Ryan Johnson at all, okay? Because that interview was before uh, TLJ came out, okay? Because she had already, I mean, Mar Marsha Lucas was already like, what the fuck are you doing? And she's very, very, very vocal. One of the reasons why George married her is because she wouldn't take his shit. One of the reasons why she left him is because she wouldn't take his shit. You understand? He could handle her. She's like, I'm done. Okay. There's a lot of shit that went down. Okay. And story is she wanted to settle down and just, and just slow down. And they had money. They could have a family. George can't have kids. He's sterile. Okay. This is, I wish I didn't know that, but that's part of the history. And she got fed up because he was putting everything into uh, Lucasfilm and into, into the Skywalker Ranch. But he was basically building it for her, okay? Um, they did eventually adopt a kid, the little, that girl. But it's like, you know, just look, if there's so much shit there, eventually it's going to crash down. And that's what happened. But when she saw TFA, she was mad, okay? She was not upset. She didn't say anything about TLJ because TLJ wasn't out yet. Had she seen it, I know she'd be like, you know, um, this is a very liberated woman, okay? She She's a, a, a film editor in her own right, okay? And she's a very tough chick. She's a, she's a tough, tough girl, okay? So she's gonna, I can't wait for this. I'm going to be like this, watching. Because we need to hear from her, okay? I would have rather seen her get Lucasfilm than Kennedy by a long shot. Because none of the shit we see on Doomcock, okay, or Geeks and Gamers would be happening. They wouldn't have anything to say, okay? They'd have to find something else to be upset about, okay? And that's, you know, and I'm going to say this part of my disappointment in all this is that we have a bunch of people with huge huge channels that aren't Star Wars fans, all right? They're not. If you can speak on Star Trek with authority, but not on Star Wars, you are not, you are not the person to be talking about Star Wars, okay? That goes for every one of them. Luke's your hero, big deal, big deal. If you're not familiar with the things that a Jedi can do, you're not a Star Wars fan. You're not. You don't put your time and effort. So when I go on there and I say, hey, look, this is fine because X, Y, and Z, and I get shot at for it, 
they don't know. And um, TFA was trash, Carla. Don't ever say that to me again. Well, he doesn't know. Look, WDW Pro is a right-wing activist, okay? He is a right-wing activist. And it's coming down to that. When you've got Nerdrotic with Alex Jones on, they forgot why they're here, ladies and gentlemen. They forgot why they have a channel. Their channel is to talk about pop culture. What's good out there? What's bad out there? Now we've got this. Now I understand. We have pol political activists infesting the culture. And they need to be addressed. But when you go so far off the reservation of your, what I would say, mandate from your subscribers, that you're inviting whack job radio hosts on who, you know, Donald Trump is a lot of things. And, and people, there are people that don't like him. But you have never, ever seen him once endorse anything that Alex Jones has ever said. Okay. Again, I'll bring up pesticides make frogs gay. If you do your homework and look up biology, they're amphibians. Okay. They're, 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 they, they don't even really have any idea that they're there. Okay. They, they, they don't have a consciousness like we do. They also, some species, can switch sexes in a same-sex environment. You got an acre pond. All the frogs there, they're, let's say like there are 50 of them. All 50 of them are female. Half of them, and, and if they're that kind of species, half of them will switch. So they are like a quarter of them will switch so they can have babies, okay? That's, that's the way it works for, for that kind of animal. But you've got this idiot out there. You know, when he said that, I'm like, really? Really? Um, like, okay. I, I, no, pesticides will just kill them because it poisons the animals they eat, okay? Frogs eat bugs, flies. All kinds of, kinds of gross shit, okay? Okay, all right. Um, and it's like, no, no, shut up. You're, you know, the, 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 now is the time for us to stay away from people like that. And I, I'm going to posit this to people. If you want to have a place to discuss Star Wars, what's good about it, what's bad about it, with someone who actually knows what they're talking about, who does not tolerate the sequel trilogy and doesn't want their fans, those fans around, well, those activists around, because that's who likes it, hang out with me, okay? Hang out with me. I'm saying it right now. It, it, now is a time for everybody to say enough is enough, okay? And when I see adult grown men getting baited by something that probably didn't happen. Again, I have yet to see any evidence of any racist messages to Moses Ingram. Now, did she put it on her stories and Instagram? Well, they're up there for three seconds and they're gone. Okay. I would like to actually see the accounts. You go to Instagram has tons of fake accounts. Okay. Tons. When some asshole wants to troll you, they'll go to their one of their 25 fake accounts with nothing, no followers, no follow, you know, they're not following anybody, nothing on there to do it. Okay, that's a fake account. I, you know, it was, I don't know if it was fabricated. I'm sure that the lunacy of the big channels, and I'm not talking about, I'm talking about the king of, you know, the Redneck Riviera in his, in his pool house. Um, I would suspect, knowing the people that hang out on that channel, that there were people 
who follow them that were emboldened to say something shitty. Okay, it just would not surprise me. That's the way of the internet. But you block and you move on if you're Moses Ingram. And she did not do that. Okay, but it's very weird that it happened after she was told the fans are racist. This is why I'm wondering, I'd like to see those accounts because if I, if I see that, that, that they're basically troll accounts, I'm going to say, this is bullshit. This is fabricated. This is not real. Okay. Um, she had, I was told by one of the uh, SJW cocksuckers that follow me around on Instagram and cause trouble that um, she did put them on her stories. So there are two different ways, ways you can post on Insta. It's either a post that goes up on your wall or it's a story and the stories go like this, they revolve. Yeah, and, and I would agree with you. And here's my problem. Don't take the bait. Don't take the bait, okay? Yeah, you're right, and, well, look, here's the deal. <laughs> These big channels believe their own bullshit. Again, they forgot why, why they're there, okay? They forgot what the reason of their channel was for. Okay, we don't have, we don't have a Chewbacca doing, doing his thing because he took his toys and went home after the goddess who is Gina uh, was told we don't want you around anymore. All right, look, I come from the land of there's two to, two to make a problem. Big family. And when shit would go down between myself and my siblings or my older siblings, my dad would punish both sides. It didn't matter who started it. Okay, that's what needs to happen. Both sides need to be punished, okay? And, you, you know, if they're not gonna spend time investigating this and they're just gonna like <sighs> all over themselves, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna help them, okay? I'm not gonna help them, all right? Um, it's, 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 it, I, I'm done, all right? I'm done with this shit. Uh, you know, we forgot who the enemy is. The enemy is Steele Saunders. It's Jason Ward. It's uh, Star Wars Explained. Phil, he's not going on YouTube anymore. They do want him on there. In fact, Valiant Renegade has, has, has really been asking him to come on. Okay. Cameron was on there. I, I, well, look, they're all part of the problem. That's why I call it a self-licking ice cream cone. I'll show you the, uh, all right, you've got LFL here. Racism. G and G, N. Reaction. This is what it looks like. That's a self-licking ice cream cone. And it won't stop. They won't stop. You, have to, you know how you stop them from doing this? You fucking quit paying attention. Okay? You don't make I'm not a racist videos. First off, that makes you look like one. Okay? The more defensive a person is, the more guilty they look. Okay? That's it. That's the whole thing. So... My advice is if you want to go and, and watch some good discussion about Star Wars, you know, go to Star Wars Theory. Um, I guess Meg, whom I'm really not a fan of, is doing a good job discuss discussing it, okay? I'm not bringing up Mike Zero because I just, I fucking can't stand that guy. 
the guy's, the guy's completely full of shit. Okay, just no. But, and if I had the ability to actually do live streams, I'd have people on. I would have people on. We would discuss it. I would have Tom Conkle on. I'd have Polly on. I'd have Mike on. I'd have Cameron on. You know, we need to have rational discussion. Okay. Now, I know it sucks that people are being called names. But reacting to it the way they did was dumb. Okay. Don't react anymore. Just say, hey, look, I know you're not a racist. I know that they're, that they're trying to start shit. Just let them yell into the breeze, okay? All right. You know, I'll tell you something else. It's, 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 it's their fault that they allowed Lucasfilm to create a narrative, all right? And the simp media, uh, you know, uh, Screen Rant and Star Wars Direct and all the rest of that, that, that human shit, they're going to run with it. They're going to run with it, okay? Brian Young is going to run with it. Okay, geek girl diva, that cunt is gonna run with it. Simple as a pimple, okay? Until Kennedy is gone. Okay, and then we will see changes. Phil, did you hear a word I said? Cameron does not wanna go on YouTube anymore. He's too busy, okay? He's got work, okay? He's got a, a show uh, happening at Stars, okay, which is a big fucking deal. So, you know, I don't know where this they don't want him on anymore comes from, but whoever started that rumor, if I ever see him, I'm going to beat the shit out of him. Well, look, that's what, they don't want her to go. If you see someone who posts one thing about her leaving and then turns around and goes completely black pill, that's marketing, that's money. That's, that's not the truth, okay? That's, oh, I can make money doing this. All right, there you go, all right. But like uh, my witnesses at Star Wars Celebration said, she was out the door. She doesn't wanna be there anymore. She tried to let John and Dave take all the credit because they're the ones that did. In fact, she was out there Hey, Polly, she was out there begging them to leave her alone, okay? And then when Ford came on there and she started interrupting him, he gave her a look of death, all right? But you don't hear that. And I know people told them that. But that's not going to give, that's not going to get super chats. Yeah, and, and you know, it, the time has come for people to stop being angry, all right? Disney is not gonna go about firing people like David Zasloff or like Netflix basically saying, if you don't like, you know, uh, the comedians that we have specials on and other things, get the fuck out of here. Okay, that's and that was aimed at the woke folk there. And the reason why is when Chappelle made that special, a trans woman showed up at a top executive meeting, broke in on it, okay? That's like, that would be like a staff assistant who's not allowed in, breaking into a meeting between the House Majority Leader, the Speaker of the House, Minority Leader, and the Minority Majority Whips, okay? That's what that is. I'm like, and that person got fired. Okay, all right, this is the shit. You know, um, this is, yeah, you're right. You're right, Jacob. I mean, it, it's, it, this is, he goes away to actually work and everything goes to shit, all right? We can't have anything nice as long as someone's making money off of not being honest to you, all right? not being honest to you, I mean, and raising problems. And it's like, look, I'm going to go full Elon Musk for a second. I don't want to hear about your problems anymore after the first time I hear about them. I want to hear that you solved it, or I want to hear that you are solving it, 
All right, that's it. No more, okay? I don't care if your fifis were hurt. All right, ignore it. Ignore them. No, why? Well, they called us names. Again, it's like second grade playground. Everybody knows the fans are not racists. Everybody also knows, if they're honest, that there are probably bad people among us that would send shitty, shitty messages to people. I, I did, um, and when I saw the guy playing Johnny Rotten, I'm like, where'd they find that hemophiliac tuberculosis? You know, I don't, I don't like the casting. I haven't watched it all yet. Um, I've read a lot. I mean, I read his autobiography. And I got to tell you, man, I think he's actually suing Steve Jones over this. They don't. The thing about Rotten is that they don't. They look at his uh, his dramatics and his, his, theat his theatrical behavior. And he wasn't on all the time. Okay. I don't see him walking into a first rehearsal, doing any of that, you know? Now, I, I did, and I did not know this because this is never information that I've been, I've been aware of, that Chrissy Hind was part of that, okay? The Pretenders was, were born during this period. I didn't know that she was there, okay? Um, so that was pretty cool. I have to watch more of it, okay? And I just, I mean, between family things going on, uh, my husband's uncle um, and stuff, I really haven't had time. I mean, I get up on Wednesdays and watch Kenobi and get up on Thursdays and watch The Offer and then that's what I do, okay? And then I do live streams and I've got all the shit to take care of. Um, but we've got... Uh, some really, it's going to be a tough couple of weeks coming up. Um, mm, mm, uh, I don't know. My husband's uncle is dying. He's in hospice at home. And um, I've got to worry about that, among other things. Okay. But back to, back. I, you know, I'll... I'm going to watch, I'm going to finish watching episode two of Pistol Polly and then I'll get in and then I'll, I'll, I'll decide if I want to finish watching it. Um, if you read anything about Johnny Rotten, his autobiography, you walk away going, that's not him. And he's the guy, he, I mean, he's, look, if you want a br brutally honest celebrity, John Lydon is, is him. And he, I mean, he's, you know, and it's funny that it's, it's, oh, it's, it's Brits, like Russell Brand. But Johnny basically said, I never thought I'd live to see the day when the right was flipping the, the establishment off. And that the left would be the establishment and they'd be twatty, uh, censorious assholes. Um... You know, so thanks, Misha. So you know, I I I'm very sensitive to that. Uh, it's it's less hard for me to watch the offer because those actors are so good, and the casting was so good that you know it's not like with with I mean Michael Good as as Robert Evans, um, Gina. Uh, um, Dana Lash was like last night on Facebook was like, and, uh, you know, I'd love to talk to her about it. I'd love to have actually her on to talk about it. Um, thanks. Thanks, Polly. Anyway. Um, so yeah, Marsha Lucas is going to be, uh, on a, on a vice TV show, uh, made by Nacelle, the company run by Brian Folkweiss. Then I saw a company. 
um, called Icons Unearthed. Okay, and she's going to be one of the people uh, interviewed about Star Wars. It's going to be the first show, first franchise they talk about. And um, I can't wait because I have a feeling she's going to drag Kennedy and Abrams and now Ryan Johnson through the fire like Vader did with Kenobi. Now you will know suffering. <laughs> you know, um, and they deserve it. They deserve it. Anybody should have been running Lucasfilm at this point. It should have been her. Okay. Because she just, she knows what it's, what it's supposed to be about. She knows what Star Wars is. All right. And, you know, it, you need someone like that running that company. And again, though, when you've got people say, no, she's staying and her name's on Kenobi. I don't see any, any Kathleen Kennedy Kenobi on Kenobi at all. I see her name and that's it. But for some people, if they see her name, then that's it. They don't understand what a figurehead is. Don't ever ask one of the black pills to describe what Elizabeth II's job is. Thanks, Phil. Um, because they don't know what a figurehead is. They really, really don't. And it's like, to me, um, well, there, well, I don't know about anybody else. I don't know how that's, uh, you know, I'm not connected with people inside uh, inside Disney. So any news I get from that is if you're on Cameron's Patreon, there it is. All I know is that the last thing he said was HR department wokesters are leaving. Okay, there are people that are very, very woke in HR leaving. They're putting out their email saying goodbye, saying Nara. And, uh, and that's where you start cutting the head off. Okay, you get into... Um, HR, and then then you have the new people go in and, and get rid of everybody else. Problem is, the people that we saw in the videos were put in there by Bob Iger. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I you know, in 2017 when he thought he was going to run for president, they were a political tool, and. Like every time I recoil, every time I'm going through the videos on my, uh, in my library here and see LaToya Ravenel, I recoil. She's a terrible person. Or the chick that actually used to run ABC. I mean, look, if you want to see a Karen, there's one. If you want to see an awful, there's one. Okay, right there. If you want to see an angry, man-hating lesbo, you got at least three. And what the hell was Equality Florida doing as part of that? You know, Chapek isn't David Zaslav. But I honestly, I don't think a guy like Zaslav would be able to get things done there either because, you know, look... The, the chemistry, the, the culture of the company has to change, and that changes with people. But it's not going to change till the board of directors m moderates itself, gets moderated. And what I mean by moderated, have moderate people uh, who moderate people. And if they lean right, good, um, as the people running you know, as the board of directors. Because mm -hmm. once you do that, then JPEC can fire them. He can go to LaTondra Newton and say, you're out, get the hell out of here. He can cut the budget for Reimagine Tomorrow and Carmen Burke, okay? He can go back and reskin things, okay? Right now, it looks to be full steam ahead. Again, this is all the leavings of Bob Iger. And the board 
I think is, is, is basically, they don't know what the fuck to do. All right, there and Susan Arnold is not helping, okay? She is not helping at all. And that's kind of disappointing. I would have liked to have seen her say, uh, we've heard you, but we're here to make money. We're not here to drive the fans away and families away. Um, and we're doing a new outlook. Jeez. Um, get a life. Anyway, um, so we just got to see what is going to happen next. But as far as Lucasfilm, the people that walked out in California, they, they, they went out, took a picture at lunch break and, break and then went back. I mean, what fucking walkout is that? The, everybody now knows who they are. Okay. All right, these were the people that were picking on Gina. But again, I don't think 90% of the people on Twitter that were bo bothering her were real accounts anyway. They were bots, okay. Um, but those guys gotta go. And when Kennedy leaves, I'm pretty sure that they'll go. They, it's just, look, you know, if, if, Doomcock was here, I would set him down right here. And I would say, listen, first off, no one believes you guys are racists. But, hey, Mike, but I got to say, the best thing you can do is to ignore it, okay? Because this has become a circle. You got LFL screaming racism, the big channels, Reacting, and it goes like that. Self-looking ice cream cone, okay? It's got to stop. And how it stops is when they stop acknowledging that the idiot saying shit like that. And there has to be another voice out there talking about the shows, okay? Um, because it's getting to the point where I can't listen. I don't listen to these guys anymore. I haven't unsubscribed, but I'm not going to listen because they're not being intellectually honest. All right. Kenobi's a good show. It does not break canon. Okay, it doesn't. I mean, I know canon. I know it. You know, they're using one line out of A New Hope as their be-all, end-all. <coughs> when they're in A New Hope, your old master, he should have been... He, he, you know, he's been dead for years, Tarkin. I haven't felt this sense, whoosh, and he walks away. A new hope. Not just that line from Vader, but here. Then we get to Return of the Jedi. Obi-Wan once thought as you did. Why is he saying that? Why is he saying that? Where did that come from? The only person that ever said that out loud in Obi-Wan's um, presence is Padme at the end of Revenge of the Sith. So why is Vader saying that? And then you have Kenobi con contradicting him. All right. You got to, if you're, look, if you're not going to bring that up, but you only bring one line out of this, you just, you're not, you're not being, you're not being honest with yourself and you're not, you're not thinking. The young Jedi that confronts Obi-Wan in the first episode, he hasn't shut himself off from the force. That's why they found him. Well, Obi-Wan, you know, he's, he's a coward. He hasn't used the force Okay, bye, Joe. In 10 years, he cut himself off from the force. He had to, so they wouldn't find him. How do you find a Jedi? Well, if you're Darth Vader, you, you look for 
the vibration and the force that comes from Obi-Wan Kenobi. Okay? That's what you do. And he's been looking for him for a long time. He didn't know he was on Tatooine. And they still don't know he was on Tatooine. Why do you have to go for Leia? What about Luke? Luke is safe. No one knows who Luke is and no one cares. Okay? He's as safe as kittens. Okay? Um, I didn't like Game of Thrones. I thought, I think this is better. Um, but I can't, I mean, I really, I mean, I hate Amelia Clark. So, okay, don't, no. Um, so why wouldn't she go after, try to have the princess kidnapped? She went to the archives, realized Bill Organa, and Kenobi had had a relationship. They knew each other. Easy peasy, there you go. Bail Organa's got a daughter. Nobody knows much about her. I'm gonna have, you know, these idiots go and mess with her. There you go. Um, what else? Uh, what else is there? Um, is Kenobi a coward? No. No. You live to fight another day. All right, you'll have to fight another day. Um, and I would have run from Vader too. Obi-Wan doesn't have the, the, the tools to fight him. We're looking at Darth Vader approaching the apex of his power right now. All right, Anakin Skywalker is 35 years old now, okay? He, and he is at, he is at his, like approaching his zenith, all right? Now imagine if Obi-Wan, if he hadn't gotten wounded so badly, and most of our how badly, how crazy it would be. Um, all right, he's 33. Okay, so he's still, he's at the, I mean, he's approaching the point where he is physically the most powerful he'll ever be. Excuse me. And it, it's, it's really fascinating to watch this because I know what Kenobi did. I know why he did it. He's off in the outer rim. It's not part of the empire. He's actually in hot space. Off in the outer rim. He's anonymous. He's cut himself off from the force. He's busy trying to get in communion with Qui-Gon Jinn and can't because he cut himself off from the Force. Okay. He watch, He does Overwatch for Luke. Uh, Owen doesn't let him around because he's afraid he's going to bring too, many, too much attention. And basically, Obi-Wan is starting to creep Beru out. That's the story. Um, the contention between Obi-Wan... And Owen is very, is, is, is very, that's something that we should have pay attention to. Where does the comparison to TLJ come from when Obi-Wan says, when the time is right, he must be trained? Did Luke ever say a word about anything like that? No. He said, I will never train, train another Jedi again. I came here to die. It's time, it's time for the Jedi to end. There's nothing in this show that is like that. I don't understand the comparison. I don't. Nothing. Okay, we've got a, an, an antagonist invader. I look at Reva as being an antagonist too because the big villain here, and we haven't seen him yet, but I think we may, is the Emperor. Okay. All right. And that's a scary shit. Because if you remember right, they didn't take the kids away so Vader wouldn't find them. They took them away so the Emperor wouldn't find them. Do you remember that? They thought he was dead. There was nothing out there in the holonet to say, 
Anakin Skywalker lived and now he's Darth Vader. Nothing. All right? Nothing. There you go. Well, I fixed I fixed it. Okay. And this is the kind of thing I really wish someone... Marsha Lucas would be very interesting to talk to. Yes, exactly, Nazareth. Yes. But let's forget all that stuff and hate it. I mean, look, I can't do the hate anymore. When I see Pablo Hidalgo pop off on Twitter about something, I'm like, but you're not there anymore. All right? Apparently, Charles Soleil has your job now. Okay? I mean, it's obvious the guy is, is on the outside looking in. Okay? In 2017, or, yeah, 27. 2017. When was it? 2015, when Pablo walked out on the stage to applause. You know, you know, he's not there in that place anymore, okay? And it's like, we forgot our focus. Our focus should be on people like that. Our focus should be asking, why is he still there if he is? Our focus should be, who is going to take over when Kennedy's gone? Because she's obviously out the door. Her behavior, again, at celebration said it was time the time was growing short for her okay but again you can't tell a dummy that they don't want to believe you they would rather be miserable okay and i find it that and I've, I've asked myself this question for a long time being somebody who worked for a conservative congressman dick army being somebody who's been part of that movement for decades, ever since I was a little kid. Why are conservative people so negative? Okay, I always used to think the left had a, had a, had a um, monopoly on that. But they're not only negative, they're aggressive. Conservatives are negative and they're passive. It, it just, it, it staggers me. It just, it's, I, I don't, I don't get, get it. Go on, you know, whatever and rant, fine. But you see changes coming. And intellectually, you have to know they are. Everything changes. Everything's on a cycle. Okay. Right now, the country's going into a pretty bad cycle. I mean, as bad as any of us have ever seen. I'm telling you that right now. Okay. Be ready for $8 a gallon gasoline. Because it's coming. All right. We're already close to five here. Um... And yet we have something decent and good. And when you look at it in its total, there's nothing woke about it at all. There's nothing wrong with the way Kenobi's being portrayed. He hasn't used the force in 10 years. No, he's not a coward. And no, he's not a cuck. Sit in the corner and think about the stupidity of that statement alone. And never utter it to me again. There's all kinds of shit going down right now. All right, at Lucasfilm. Kenobi is very, very interesting because you can see, you can see the changes coming. Okay, look, we... When you're writing a story like this, you need dark moments. You need painful moments. All right? I didn't see anybody screaming about Luke finding out Vader was his father after Daddy took his arm off. All right? I didn't see it. That was dark. That was some dark shit. Okay? This is the darkest I've ever seen Star Wars. First off, and this is on Disney Plus. That Stormtrooper falls through that power grid. Goes in half. Then. Then. We get this. 
Vader goes medieval, like Roman legions on him, medieval on Kenobi. He picks him up with the force like a rag doll, chokes him, starts a fire with his lightsaber, and poof, and starts dragging him through it. You can't get darker than this. This is Star Wars. Look, fairy tales, if you look at the, the original fairy tales, they're dark as shit, okay? They are. They're not all goodness and light and everything. They're dark, okay? This is some dark, this is as dark as I've ever seen it. But we have to hate it. Because we got a bunch of people with big channels that, A, don't want you to like it, and B, will not be honest about it at all and don't know what they're watching. Okay, it's intolerable. All right, it's like, look, what do you want? And if it was bad, you know I'd say it. All right, trust me. Any, Maze, Jay, do you guys remember Do you, do you guys remember my reaction to TLJ? Do you remember that? Do you remember my reaction to TFA? What about the Rise of Skywalker? Do you remember my reaction to Soylo? I went fucking crazy. I fucking garbage, garbage. Now I mock it. All right, now I mock it because it's in the past. And in my opinion, what I'm seeing is that there's something else going on here. And when you watch Kenobi, there's absolutely no evidence of Kathy Kennedy having anything to do with it. And if you honestly think I'm being delusional or lying about it or wishful thinking, go fuck yourself. Seriously, okay? I don't want to hear about it. Where is the wham in power? Oh, Leia. This is Leia Organa, okay? A, 20, a, a little 10-year-old girl who's a little shit. She's going to do what she wants. That's how she got herself in trouble, okay? That's how she got herself in trouble in the first place. And she apologized to Obi-Wan for it, all right? Okay, all right? I mean, it's, it's literally like, so, so that's not woke. All right, what about Luke? Again, safe as kittens, okay? Safe as kittens. No one knows who he is. No one cares who he is. He's not in Imperial territory. He is off on a moisture farm, bored off his ass, okay? You know? And, okay, here's the deal. When Obi-Wan says to Vader, what have you become? That's because Reva told him it was Anakin. Problem solved, okay? Problem solved. Next, okay? It's time for people to just relax and have fun. Okay, there's piss poor little fun to have. Okay, and I gotta tell you something. The North Koreans ever, you know, uh, explode an EMP above Kansas. A lot of people are gonna be in a world of hurt. They won't have the money coming in. No one will. Okay, and that's a scary thought. All right, this is no place to make a business. To be honest. All right, no place at all. Because sure, it's a chat. Sure, you get money. Sure, la, la, la. But if you're basing your whole life's livelihood on something that can be gone like that, I'm telling you right now, diversify the way you earn money to everybody who has a channel that's monetized. And I'm saying that because this is not the way you want. I mean you know, with everything going on, 
and the enemies of the, of the United States being emboldened. Okay? And, I, and you know, well, you know, and, and, and what I mean by an EMP, an, ele an electromagnetic pulse, which is a ginormous hydrogen bomb going off in the atmosphere above Kansas. That would pretty much fry everything that's electronic in your house. Okay, everything. All right, I'm telling you that right now. Something to be worried about, to be honest. Um, and, it's, and it's a very real threat. The North Koreans are already working on missiles again. Why? Because we got a putz in the presidency. Um, anyway, go back, going back to this. I want Marsha Lucas, I really hope she does, that she says something about this era of Lucasfilm being terrible, okay? I wish she was 20 years younger so she, so she could just take it over. I would take it over. I would love to do it. I would. I would just say, uh, I'll work from here. I will fly out, you know, once every two weeks and spend a few days in Burbank and then up in Marin. Um, and I want the right to hire and fire anybody I want. You know, and that's what I want. But, you know, there's, that's, that's what's gonna have to happen with Lucasfilm. The problem is, is that, <clears throat> And I think, I think they know it. I think Arnold and, and uh, Chapek know it, that the fans hate Kennedy, hurt the reaction. Uh, several friends of mine who were at Celebration said the reaction to her was tepid. Okay, tepid. Not good, not a good look for her. All right, not a good look. Her being there. It's a bad look. It's, it's bad optics. Because the fans blame her for all this shit going down. And rightly so. She's the one that allows it. She's the one that allowed what happened to Gina happen. She actually encouraged it. Okay? I believe that. She's the one that probably uh, saved Pablo Hidalgo's consulting gig. Because I don't think he works at Lucasfilm anymore. Uh, I really don't. I mean, there's nothing. Look. There's nothing around besides his mouth that says he is, okay? All right, there's nothing out there. So I'm, you know, but we need, uh, we need proof. I think seeing him go, oh, I know, but look, when, look, do you remember when that umbrella guy was saying how Warner Brothers stopped following Amber Heard and Jason Momoa stopped? And that, that was an indicator something was going on. When Pablo Hidalgo, on his public account, stopped following Star Wars, Marvel, and Disney, and has never, as far as I can tell, ever followed Filoni or, or Favreau, you know, that tells me that he's not where he is. And if they say he's still a creative something, you know, maybe he still holds a title, but I don't, I don't think he works there anymore. There's nothing to indicate that he does. He can say he does, but the guy the guy is a, a liar, all right? But again, until we get the word that he's gone, that his wife is gone, and that other wokesters are gone, you know, we're gonna be sitting here going, you know, we're gonna have the, what the shit that we're having happen. As far as Hidalgo being mentioned in the credits,
he's part of SAG, AFRA. He's also part of the, the, the Writers Guild. That's just the rule, okay? That's like Kennedy being listed as an executive producer of Indiana Jones 5 and probably hasn't, I mean, she hasn't been on the set. She didn't go for the rap. She didn't, okay? Why? Because Owen is starting to die. Um, Kathleen Kennedy lost every project or had to move back in October of last year. Okay, Indiana Jones 5 release date was pushed push back. Children of Blood and Bone went to Paramount. The Acolyte, you know, you know, who knows if that's ever gonna get made. I mean, you know, Leslie Hadlin keeps adding people to the, to the list on, on uh, IMDb Pro, but they're not editors. They're not directors. They're not other writers. You know what I'm saying? Now, maybe there's somebody attached that hasn't been mentioned yet, but, all right, I, I just, you know, and as far as Joby, Joby is John Favreau's boy. Hussein Amini was the Oscar winning writer that Kennedy had hired for that role to write the story. And he got fired by John Favreau. Now, he gets a writer's credit, okay? Just like when you watch Indy 5, John Kasdan is gonna have a writer's credit because he was took a, took a shot at the script, okay? And I'm sure it was woke shit, like Indy is gay or some shit like that. Um, you know, but we'll just have to see. But there are changes coming, and you can you can tell. Again, having Leia get kidnapped is not woke. Um, Luke is safe, so stop concentrating on him, okay? He's as safe as kittens. This, and I'll tell you something. You guys all wanted a show. They all wanted a show about Kenobi. I don't know what they wanted. Kenobi goes full John Wick. You killed my EOP. Now you die. Pulls out a lightsaber. Be there in a heartbeat. He would be there in a heartbeat. Anyway, I gotta go. So you guys be good, behave, be safe. And uh, I'll see you guys around the galaxy. And uh, if any black pills were to see this, my email is janisecsm68 at gmail.com. We'll have a conversation, all right? Because I want this negative shit to stop. Okay, Steph, signing out. I'll see you around.